All right, what's up my brothers? We got a sponsored request here from a viewer who says close but no cigar in his request. I think this is a good example of somebody that unnecessarily is complicating his life over relationships or women when it doesn't really need to be that way. So let me read his request. It's very short. He says, I am in my mid thirties, the prime time, and I am red pill aware. Divorced father of one. I'm five foot 11. I make roughly $98,000 a year and I have a four pack. I'm already stretched thin in terms of time and energy. You often talk about the three sixes and I'm I'm just shy in all three categories. My question for you is, I feel as though I'm ready for a long-term relationship, but from what I am learning, a LTR almost isn't even worth bothering with unless the man has achieved all three of the sixes, or if close is exceedingly exceptional in one of those categories. I would like to have more children, but is even worth bothering being open to a long-term relationship, or should I wait till at least I check one of those boxes, which I'm not even sure if I ever will. Oh, and thanks, I'm also running for public office, which increases my need to stay in on, does this count as hitting high social status? All right, well, let's get on the road and talk about our friend complicating his life unnecessarily over things. All right, so you get this a lot with guys where they run into problems with their lives, with women, you know, with their reproductive issues, and then they go and watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos or some YouTube videos on one channel and another channel. They kind of move around from place to place until they start getting either answers they like or answers that they understand. What he's referring to with the three sixes, it's not actually called the three sixes, is called the six sixes. I've talked about this before on my channel. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my book as well. And I'll tell you the origin story. I was at a dinner party and a friend of mine, his wife wanted to introduce me to one of her friends. This was years ago and she's like, Rich, you got it all. I got to introduce you to Becky. She's the best, blah, blah, blah. You got the six sixes, you know, you guys should meet and go out. And I'm like, well, what are the six sixes? So she proceeds to explain the six sixes, which was an enlightenment at the time, but I didn't realize the significance of it until, you know, I got to where I am today where I fully unplugged and, you know, taking the proverbial red pill and unplugged from the matrix. So the six sixes are six foot tall, six pack abs, 600 horsepower car, six figure income, six months out of a relationship and six inches in the pants. So women conjure up these like, this probably from sex in a city or something stupid like that, if we're being honest, you know, this isn't something that a guy would have cooked up. So now we have our friend here who does reasonably well in life. He's good looking, you know, he gave me his link to his social media, so I click through. He's got one of those jobs that is masculine that women would like. It's just always kind of been that way in that field of work that he's in. So he would look like a appealing candidate to women looking for a guy. So his question is about a long-term relationship. He's not looking to spin plates. He's not looking to date or rack up notches or anything like that. He's just looking for a long-term relationship, which in the future he hopes would lead to more kids which is fine. I'm not a big fan of inviting the state into your life. There's a chapter in my book where I talk about why smart men don't marry anymore. So I'm not a big fan of marriage from that perspective. I just see too many risks, not enough upside from it. You can read my book to learn more about it from that perspective. So if you want to have kids, have more kids. If that's a priority for you and something that you really want to do, then just go and do it. There's absolutely no reason why you should prevent yourself from achieving goals in life, whether that happens to be with money, making more money, children, or wherever it ends up taking you. Now, the point that this guy's making is, I only have three of the sixes, I think is what he meant to say. Maybe he didn't mean like six of the sixes, but anyway, that's what the six sixes are. I don't know what three he's mentioning, but he's saying, I'm close, but no cigar to three of them. Is it even worth me dating? Here's what's more important when it comes to dating, okay? The six sixes are just a woman's guideline. That doesn't mean that you have to follow it. It doesn't mean that that's what you need to achieve to be attractive to women. I've seen women go out with some very average looking guys. Maybe they were more influential. Maybe they had a lot of money. I don't know. Maybe they had a 12 inch dong, who the hell knows? But having, you know, three or six or, you know, mentally screwing your uh, head over thinking that you have to tick off a certain number of boxes before you can date or even consider dating starts to get into a realm of absurdity. Yeah, I'm plugged from comforting lies that society has told us our entire lives. Yeah, understand those things. Watch my podcast, read my book. Yes, absolutely. But if you're competent, if you're interesting, if you're captivating, you're not a boring guy, you make decent money, which this guy does. He looks like he's strong and masculine, good. Do you understand fundamental concepts of game with what women actually respond to? Not what we've been told, what women are supposed to respond to, but what women actually respond to. Do you understand those fundamental concepts? If you've got at least the basics down 
and you're interested in women, you're attracted to women, and you have time for it, and you might be considering having more kids, go for it. You don't need my permission. You don't need any other mano swamp goofball, you know, that say, yes, you can date, or no, you can't date, or yes, women are worth it, or no, they're not worth it. You decide for yourself. You're a grown ass adult, and if you think that you know, you're dating a gal. Of course, you should be dating several simultaneously to suss the wheat from the chaff, if you know what I'm saying, because there's some bad women out there. But if you're dating a gal and she seems sweet and she's good and she comes at you and says, hey, Rich, where do we stand? I dig your vibe, you know, your life, your kid, you know, whatever seems interesting, I'd like to, you know, be more of a part of it, then that's when you can consider it. But you don't need to worry about what number of boxes you tick off for a woman. I'll tell you something, truthfully, this is the funny thing. If if you actually got a list of women's requirements in order to date them, you would be laughing your ass off because it's not six, it's not a dozen, it's not 24 or 36. They keep going. Women's requirements are utterly absurd and many of them are so delusional in the requirements that they set for dating for long-term relationships for a guy that they might want to have kids with for example so none of those things really matter that much at the end of the day because if a woman has genuine burning desire for you that's chapter three of my book i elaborated in there very clearly if she's got genuine burning desire for you she'll overlook if her requirement at one time was, must make $250,000 a year. She'll overlook that if you make $98,000 and she's got genuine burning desire for you. You see what I'm saying here, right? So don't let the you know, lines in the sand, which by the way, when it comes to stuff like this, they're lines in the sand. They're not painted lines on asphalt. You know, these lines move for women. You know, what she wants yesterday will potentially be different than what she wants next week. And like we all know already, if you followed me for a while, women will make rules for guys that they deem to be beta males, and they'll break rules for guys that they deem to be alpha males. So if her rule for a quarter million dollars a year in income gets thrown out the window because she's got strong enough desire for you, she's got genuine burning desire for you, you tick off enough of those fifis, you know, in her gut, in her heart sort of thing, who cares? Who cares about three sixes, two sixes, 17 sixes? There's these funny memes that I get sent all the time and it's like, I see this one gift that shows up and the question is, what do women want? And the answer, I think this is from uh, Mad Men. And the answer, he comes back with, who cares? And he drinks his whiskey. That's how you gotta approach it. Who cares? Enjoy life, put yourself first. Don't invite batshit crazy women into your life. Vet for red flags, there's 20 red flags. You can get that chapter from my book for free, by the way. It's pinned below in the top comment when you opt into my email list. Those are just some fundamental basics without complicating your life unnecessarily. I want you guys to have fun. I don't want you guys to create issues or havoc in your life, but live life. And if you want something, you don't need my permission to go and do it. You don't need some random dude on the internet to say, yep, you go ahead and do it because you've got enough of the sixes in line that some random weirdo said at a you know, dinner party 10 years ago, don't worry about that stuff. Live life on your terms. Make sure you put yourself first. Vet for crazy. Stay away from crazy. Don't invite chaos. You guys know the standard stuff by now, right? Have fun with it. Anyway, you guys leave a comment below. You let me know what you think. If you have any experience on this notion that this gentleman is asking me here, I wish you all the best in your chasing of public office seat. You know, dude, if you get it, always do good, you know, is all I'm saying. Anyway. Have an awesome day. Pin to the top comment, bunch of useful links, stuff that I'm affiliated with, my book, my supplement line, my podcast, all that good stuff. So check it out. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up.